Hi guys, it's Emily from Wasn't It Pretty Girl here, back with another cup of tea and a chat video for you all. Today I'm going to be talking about my side hustles and my taxable income for the 2021 to 2022 financial year. Now, I have got a video on my side hustles from 2021 that I'll pop in a card up the top here. This will be less than that because I did have a baby at the end of last year and I've had therefore a newborn and a small baby for the, the most of the last six months. So these amounts are going to be much smaller and my side hustles have pretty much dried up. So I will be rebuilding a lot of these from scratch and I will document that for you guys so that you can see kind of how I built these things up and with a lot of these things, the more you do, the more you get, so the more money you make. So if you're keen to see more of that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, click the little notification bell to be notified when I post new videos, which is every other day. And if you have any questions or comments or things that you want to know, pop them down below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. And if it's something like you, that a lot of you ask about, I'll do a video on it. So I have my cup of tea and I have my planner here and I've just written down the side when I was doing my taxes all of my income for the financial year and I will take you through all of that. Some of them are split up into 2021 and 2022 so you, you will hear some things twice. That's just because I had to go into separate areas and separate statements and physically count everything up and I haven't count, put them together yet so sorry if that's annoying. So and this is full disclosure so from Centrelink last year I received $818 that is for I think a I think I got fifty dollars a couple of weeks over there when hubby was off sick or something happened and we weren't over the threshold so I got a small amount of partner parenting I did invoices I did three thousand eight hundred and twenty and that was for things like writing blogs and um, making content for companies uh, pay promotions, I got 3,000, sorry, through PayPal, I received $3,500 in invoices for, again, those things. And I also received $165 from uh, news organizations, so news.com, Kitspot, things like that. Um, when I do quotes or I write blogs or I write articles, that's what I got paid for there. Moving on for my ebook, I released an ebook last year um, and it's on my website if you want to check it out. It's Frugal F Food for Families. I received $217.78. Buy Me a Coffee, which is kind of like Patreon, it's a way to support online um, creators and basically to tip them if you want to. It's available there if you do want to use it, you don't have to, but I had a lot of people ask me for a way to help and help support us. Um, so I made $110 from that. Thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate it. Hello Fresh in 2021, I made $540 in credit. That is not cash, but it is credit that I can then use to buy boxes so that I don't have to, but it is included as taxable. So that's why it's there. Uh, from YouTube, I received $343.21. That is for from mid-March to the end of June, that's how much I made in the two and a bit months that I was monetized. Again, thank you so much for supporting my channel, watching those videos and um, watching my videos really helps and yeah, it really supports and helps me to create more content for you guys. Up Bank, I received $45 in 2021 and $45 in 2022, coming to a total of $90 for the financial year. That's from referrals and signups. Uh, Octopus Group in 2021 was $1,395 and 2022 was $655. So you can see how that's obviously gone down as I've been doing less surveys. Like I said, the more I do and the more I complete, the more they send you, so the more you can do. So that's definitely gone down. Humanity, I made $129.66 last year in 2021 um, and $45.90 in the first six months of 2022. 
86400, which is a bank a referral sign up bonus, uh, which is now UBank. You get $20 when you sign up and you make three transactions. We both get $20. I made $160 last year from that, nothing this year. And all up together, that means from just my side hustling and side businesses, I made $11,989.55. So that's my taxable income for that, the financial year. I do also receive a so small amount of um, family tax benefit because we do earn under $80,000 a year. Hubby made, I think, 55000 this year, so my 11, 12, say 12000 12000 on top brings us to 67000 so we're still under the threshold, so we will receive a couple hundred dollars a fortnight from them continuing on, and that's how much I made from my side hustles this year. You guys, let me know what else you want to see. Let me know below um, any questions you have. I definitely have more side hustles than that. I cut a lot back and I stopped doing a ton when I was super pregnant. And I just focused on some of the quicker and easier ones that I didn't have to do a lot. And this year, I'm going to be starting my side hustles up again, this financial year. And obviously to help pay for all the court stuff. So at the moment, I'm going to be focusing on making sure I'm putting out content for you guys. So videos every other day, uh, blog content, uh, because I'll get paid from AdSense over there too. And then my surveys and things like that. All right. So I was just in the office and I thought I would pop on and just check my side hustle tracker, which I have here and give you the numbers for my non-taxable income, um, non-taxable side hustles for this year so far. So this year so far we have Woolworths. I have earned $100 in Woolworths rewards from stacking. Uh, Fly by $60. Okay. Uh, shop back, I have made $130.70. Now flybys, Woolworths and shop back aren't taxable because they're just money I'm earning back on my shopping or their royalty and rewards programs. And my tax agent has said they're not taxable. I've also made $102.10 from Other, which is my return and earn, and Scrap Metal. So if we find Scrap Metal, we'll take that to the Scrap Metal place, and you can make some good money doing that. And I've also made $311.50 from TikTok. So those are my non-taxable income so far this year. And my side hustle total for 2022, taxable, non-taxable, just flat, like I said, I have definitely let things go, is $3,729.94. So that, that should give you an idea of where we're at. <coughs> so I'll see you later in the video. Yeah. All right, so Bubby is awake. And I just wanted to pop on and say, this video isn't sponsored. I'm just wearing a wee money jumper that I won last year in a competition that they ran. And it's cold today. So not sponsored, no product placement, none of that. Um, don't forget, if you like this kind of content, to let me know. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Say bye.